Daniel. Corwin. DZ, as they call you. Or DZ, because we've upset a lot of Canadians by calling me DZ. Hey, check out who's behind the camera. <laughs> Why are you there? I'm behind the camera today. I'm a little surprised, and I kind of like my chances of winning today. I'm here for a beatdown. You're going to rotate into at least three quizzes this season. I'll be in three quizzes this season. Corwin's going to host one. Luke is going to host one. And Jesse's going to host one. <laughs> That's going to be a nightmare. I'm liking my chances right now. Marissa, host of Digital Sports Center. It is your first time in the quiz. You're here for finally. Yes, I'm very nervous. I watch a lot of these quizzes and it just seems like you guys know everything. This is the happiest you're going to see me. <laughs> this is Sam's punishment. This is my punishment. He's yeah. goth, Sam. Do you like it? Um, not really. I don't like putting stuff around my eyes. I've kind of hated this so far and it's also really hot wearing two shirts. Do you know what you're doing here today? I hmm. Flip the script. I do not. Obviously, we're doing a quiz, Corwin. No, can you please inform me? I took the easy route. I just took one of the ones the fans suggested. Oh, nice. Well played. We did the first movie. Now we're going to do <laughs> D2. I like it. Okay. All right. D2. No! <laughs> I said Duck's word! I'm done with the Mighty Ducks. You remember? They're in Dutchworth's office. Yeah, out of all the quizzes, that's my favorite moment of all time. Jesse's Jesse. least favorite moment. He lost his mind. This man has lost his mind. I lost my mind. You, you just want to walk out here or what? Kind of. <laughs> kind of I, I don't know. You know, like as a kid, uh, when you own like six VHS tapes total, whatever you had, you watched a thousand times. D2 was one of those things. So, so you know the movie. I know that movie very well. When's the last time you watched it? I have watched the movie recently. Ever since we found out we were going to do a D2 quiz, I've watched it a couple of times. Probably been at least like a year. Anyone that didn't watch it, you messed up. I haven't watched it in like a while now. You could have prepared. I, I respect that. You did your homework. We'll go over the rules. 10 questions. Okay. Uh, so it is a one strike system. Thought it might change with you, but apparently you're not on my side either. After five questions, you get a bonus question. If you get that right, you get an extra strike for question six to 10. You also, for season three, you get a lifeline. We're into lifelines. Corwin, tell us, what is our lifeline today? Your lifeline is going to be multiple choice. I'll give you four options and I'll probably screw with you a little bit in there. Makes sense. I wouldn't expect anything else from anyone sitting behind the camera. Let's get you kicked off. Wait, wait, wait. Oh yeah, I forgot you have like a thing that you do. Let's get going! The Jane Dan department's not here, so I can be as loud as I want. <laughs> Question one. Eventual Saturday Night Live star Kenan Thompson's character is introduced in this movie. Yes. And he makes the team due to his signature shot. What is it called? Hmm, what's that? That's my knuckle puck. A knuckle puck. Knuckle puck. It's knuckle puck time, baby. The knuckle puck, Russ Tyler. <laughs> Fuck time! The guy that just keeps chirping every Team USA player. My little brother can score on these guys. <laughs> I ain't even got a little brother. I bet if that puck was a cheeseburger, you'd stop it. Show me you want it, son. Go. Yeah, show us you want it, son. Let's go. Well, you got question one. That's a good start. Okay, that's one. On to question two. In their first game against Iceland, Adam Banks hurts his wrist. <laughs> How does Gordon Bombay check if he's ready to play the next game? Um. Okay, they're in the locker room. Whenever I hurt my wrists, I actually do this. Doesn't he get him to like hold the stick? He has his stick. And he asks him to rotate it. He has him hold the stick and rotate it. He makes him rotate it? He holds out his stick. And he, he turns it. I just got to dial that back for a second. You do that a lot? <laughs> so I've fractured both wrists uh, and I've sprained them a ton. One of the ways I kind of check whether or not it's good. Like I wouldn't do it with a hockey stick, but I try and like lift something and turn it. Good to know. But yeah. you've never broken your arm, right? I'll let him speak for that one. I'm not going to say it, but I'll say it. I broke my arm last year skateboarding, and because I didn't have a cast, they didn't believe me. Guy didn't have a broken arm. <laughs> People, you cannot require a cast. Oh, you don't like mobility in your elbow? Move on to the next question. Let's just say it makes sense you're wearing that soccer jersey. <laughs> Okay, well done. You've Thank made it you. to question three. As long as I beat Jesse, that's honestly my main goal here. Is it Jan? I thought it was Hans. Welcome back, Gordon. Question three. Wolf Stanson, Iceland's coach, has a nickname. What is it? 
I know this one. Name as cool as that, you probably didn't need to have a nickname. They call him the dentist. Remember being called like the dentist or something like that. The dentist. Wolf the dentist Stanson. And I assume the dentist comes from knocking people's teeth out. He's just knocking them out. Dentists don't do that. They're supposed to help your teeth, not knock them out. But the guy had sick flow, class pony. Wolf the dentist Stanson is coaching? I thought he has a pony. Maybe he's got a rat tail. <laughs> <laughs> he does not have a ponytail. He does not have a rat Yo, tail. Rat tails are sick. <laughs> Sam, you're on to question four. Four, quattro. <laughs> question four, I've noticed you've been going with the true or false. I'm gonna do the same. Oh, wow, okay. Whatever. Was not aware that fourth question was a true false question. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I don't like it. I know, true or false. None of the notable Iceland players in the movie were Icelandic actors, and they actually had to dye their hair blonde to play the role. Oh, come on. Oh said none? None of them. Okay, then I think I actually can confidently say this answer. I'm pretty sure they like dubbed this movie in Icelandic. Gunnar Stahl? Good work, Captain Duck. Like the main dude. He's in the third movie as another character. What? Great game, Gaffney. Based on that, I'm gonna say true. I'm gonna go with true. With everything else that happened in the movie that was so far off the mark, I can't imagine them bringing in actual Icelandic players. I think it's true. Gonna say true, cause it just seems like something that would be true. I'm going to say false. I think they're from Iceland. Well, Luca, it's the end of the line. Z. Yeah? I've got a punishment for you. I'm sorry, Marissa. No, come on! You have to stick around with us oh, a little okay. bit longer. <laughs> It's true. That wow. seemed too wild. <laughs> that guy's in the third movie. Like, I know he is. You're out. Honestly, it's because you didn't get me. <laughs> <laughs> you lost it for yourself. You're on to question five. Question five, you're one away from bonus. Got a title to defend. Everyone looks at me as the Mighty Ducks genius. <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't. As much as I want to beat Luca, I need to beat Z, okay? Question five. While there are nations competing in the Junior Goodwill Games, some of the teams also have team names, like the Ducks. What is Iceland's team name? Are you serious? Oh, man. I know this. Oh! This is going to be more of like an, a guess, for sure. This was a team in my little brother's league. I don't remember. I don't remember this. Logo-wise, I remember seeing like they have like a, like a Viking on their jersey. Is it the Vikings? I think they're the Vikings. I like the wolves or something. And he's closing the book. Why are you closing the book? Team Iceland is named the Vikings. Oh my God, that's, oh no, 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 no. I don't want to go out like this. <laughs> I did actually know that. Oh, scared me. Well, thanks guys. Thanks for having me. No problem. And make sure to watch Digital Sports Center every weekday at 3 p.m. Eastern, noon Pacific. But only when Marissa's hosting, not, not when Jesse. Jesse's hosting. <laughs> You gotta read me the bonus round now. You've made it to the bonus round. Not to call myself Mr. Consistent, but like, I've kind of been Mr. Consistent in getting to the bonus round here. Yeah. Yeah, so some people don't even make it to the bonus round. Say goodbye to your co-host. See you, Marissa. Good rins, bud. <laughs> <laughs> bonus round. Is this where you remind people to like what they're watching? Because it helps us make other videos? Apparently, I don't have to remind them. Help us hit the trending page? That'd be kind of cool. Bonus round. 30 seconds on the clock at the end of the question. Seven superstar athletes make a cameo in the film. Name four of them. Paul Korea. No, already. Chris Chelios. Chris Chelios. Luke Robitaille. Luke Robitaille. The dead man with the salt shaker. Cam Neely. Cam, Chris, and Luke. Steve Ruchin. <laughs> And Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Hey, Gordon, how you doing? Gordon Bombay just absolutely wasted his time. Pitching him like a loafer idea or something stupid. Second guy to just leave Wayne Gretzky off the list. You could have went a lot of ways. Wayne, Cam Neely, dead man, salt shaker. Wayne betrayed Canada. They were in the tournament and he's celebrating with the United States. What is that, Wayne? Why? Guys, this is the gray one. I'm sorry to say, Jesse, it looks like you're not going to get a bonus this time. It's cool. You still got a lifeline. You're on to question six. Trap card. <laughs> that face down card's a trap card. I know it. I know it. Question six. Gordon Bombay wanted to make a shoe. <laughs> yes, I know this. What is his suggested name and tagline? Who knows this? 
You have a lifeline. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All I remember is that for some reason, a pee wee hockey coach had one on one FaceTime with an NBA goat, and he chose to use that time to pitch him a loafer for like kitty coaches or something dumb. I know the tagline. I'm pretty sure it's for kids who want to coach. So you got four options here, okay? All right. A. The Air Bombay loafers for kids who want to coach. B. Duck feet. The toes are webbed. C. Gordy's boots. Tagline? Mr. Hockey's shoes are tough to fill. D. Tongues out sneakers. For dudes and chicks who like to wear their tongues out. I'm going to lose a strike here. I don't know the name of the loafer. The first one. A. Final answer. Plug it in. You mean the air loafers? Final answer? Yeah, sure. Air loafers and for kids who want to coach. You're locking in air Bombay loafers. I mean, I'm a little hesitant after you just said it out loud. Bombay gopher loafer? I don't know, man. Jesse, it's been fun. And I hope the rest of the quiz is just <laughs> as fun because you're still in it. I will call it the air Bombay loafer kids who want to coach. That's like really close. It's close, right? Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, baby! Who, what coach have you ever seen wearing loafers during a game? Let alone, what kid likes to coach other than Charlie Conway? Who again, thanks to the scouting system, they, they took a guy who's so bad that he's like, you know, I can just coach. I need you on the bench. Coaching. He just wrote himself <laughs> off. What an yeah. absolute coward. Yeah. You're on to question seven. <sighs> Let's go, baby. The Ducks play seven games at the Junior Goodwill Games, and only one of their opponents is never shown. Who is it? Every person left in this quiz should know this answer and be offended by it. It was our beloved nation. That's tough. Canada, like, we're not that great at a lot of sports. <laughs> Wow, that was close. You can be the center. We're really, really good at some. One of those is hockey. They didn't show us, man. They First, they got Wayne going to celebrate. And, and then they didn't show us play. USA just beats them, and they don't even show the score. They couldn't have been worse than Trinidad and Tobago in Italy. Losing by six, but everything be airy. You know what? Punch it in Jamaica, final answer. It's your home country. Canada? The answer is Canada. Canada. Wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. Is this some sort of sick joke? What were the producers and the directors thinking throwing Canada in and not even showing them in the movie? Hockey is our game. Did the other boys get that? Kiss the badge. We're moving on to question eight. So am I out? You are. Well, it's gonna say screw the Mighty Ducks movies. It's been real. Ducksworth, never forget. Ducksworth! Gunner Stahl, what on earth were you thinking? Going glove side? <laughs> Go blocker side on the cat. Idiot. We're moving on to question eight. How does Jan, the absolute strudel head, <laughs> <laughs> teach Luis Mendoza to stop. I wish someone would teach me how to stop. If you've watched me skate, atrocious. I can't stop. You can give yourself a little credit. It's, you're just not great at stopping. Yeah, I can't stop almost at all. I do the pizza thing. What Jan does to help Mendoza out is uh, he sets up a bunch of cans. He like sets up cans? And gets him to stop before it. You all have special skills. Now we have to refine them. But Mendoza just keeps knocking them over. <laughs> Don't know why I didn't just grab a stick. Stop in front of the boards. Stop in front of the boards. Why would you set up cans? Then you got to pick them all back up. Everyone knows the real person who taught Louise how to stop. It was that super flamboyant guy when they were playing street hockey. Hey, hey, hey. Use the brakes, baby. Use the brakes, baby. <laughs> you are correct. And you are moving on to question nine. Okay. I feel good. I still got my uh, lifeline. Remember, you do have a lifeline, and this is your last opportunity to use it. Question nine. At the beginning of the movie, Gordon Bombay isn't coaching anymore. He's playing. What team is he playing for, and what number is he wearing? I'm pretty sure I know this one. Do you need the full team name? Of all the fictional jerseys I've seen people walking around in, this is definitely one of the coolest ones. Can I just say the waves? I don't need the full name. The, the waves? is the name of the team. He's wearing 66, and I'm pretty sure he's wearing 66. Let me use number. You're right, 66. He's uh, Mario Lemieux, which is weird, because he's Gordy. Bring it in, Gordon. Okay, Dad. Where's the hate for him, everyone? Hosang, what are you doing? You can't wear Bombay's number. You made it to the final boss. <sighs> yes. We get it. Two quizzes, two final bosses. Two quizzes, two final bosses. But, okay, I'm gonna chill, 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 chill. Final boss, look to your left. You're not doing this with as much uh, <laughs> fear and terror as DZ does it. Okay, look left, right, uh, look in the center. Uh, it's time to fight. Uh, I'll chase you to the ends of the earth. Okay, are you ready for this? 
Yeah, man. I'm pumped up. Question 10. Other than Canada, name the opponents that the Ducks faced at the Junior Goodwill Games and the final scores. The score. <laughs> the score. Okay, okay, okay. Man. <laughs> I'll give you a point for every every one. If you get one of the teams, you get a point. You don't have to say them in order. Just get as many as you can. And if someone else happens to get here, most points wins. If they play someone twice, do I have to say them twice? Yes. Okay, so they face Iceland twice. Iceland twice. Iceland! Italy. Ah, uh, they play Italy. Hey, uh, how do you say an Italiano swussy? Germany in there. They play Germany. <laughs> First game was Trinidad. They play Trinidad. They face Russia. I think they beat Russia too. You got six points there. Ah, okay, okay. The first Iceland loss. This might be the only score I know like decently confidently. 12-1. Is it 12-1? Because like he repeats it in the dressing room too, I think. 12-1. 12-2-1. Yes. Ah! Okay, okay. Oh my goodness. They win the last one in a shootout. So I just have to guess whatever they were tied at. I think Trinidad was 11-2. 6-5 is the final score. So that's where you'll stop. Is it enough? Let's find out. No! Let, let's bring Z in here. This guy, man, competes in one quiz, wins it all. Comes in another one, makes it to the final boss. Hey, buddy. This guy might be a two-time champion in two know, quizzes. Man. I don't know. You're pretty good at this deck stuff. You I know your stuff! I Thank you. But I, I'd like to get some clean wins, too. You okay. know, this is the second time I have to sit next to someone on a couch. Hey, yeah, you guys you guys just want to talk forever? I'll just sit back. No, let's know. find out. I can't. I can't. <laughs> okay. okay, it's nerve. Let's go. Okay, you tied. No. This is Ducksworth all over again. We tied? No, Z won. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh my How many God! Did he get? Trinidad was 11-2? All right, way to go! 6-5. How sweet it is! Oh yeah, hey! Eh? You get to make fun of me behind the camera and in front of it too! In yo face, in yo face. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. How many two did he get? Or two. Luca got seven. Z, you got eight. He beat you by one. Hey, uh, what's that over there? <laughs> yeah, this guy's gonna hit me with the belt. Get your hands off my belt. And then hit the <laughs> yeah, road. Enjoy the belt, pal. Yeah, thanks for breathing. Yeah, you're it. welcome. No duck worth this time. Get out of here. here. Ooh. Whatever. Ooh. Two for two. Two for two. You like the Colorado Avalanche. Okay, well, this is one win down. And I'm going for the trope. Each one that you guys are hosting, I'd like to win it. I'd like to go three for three. This, this winner's circle. This winner's circle has been a long time coming. You know what gives me no joy in life? Answering DMs that say, Jesse said Ducksworth first. Guy's got goons on deck. And I'm just gonna sell this for once. I didn't say he had to say the name. Where did the ducks get their name from? Luca said lawyer. The this lawyer! Is... He said the name of the lawyer. Ducksworth! Both are technically correct. Luca said his first. Then they both got another question after that one. The Hartford Whalers! He won. So it was like just nixed out. Guy had another shot. He fairly lost that quiz. I never wanna hear Ducksworth ever again. And you know what I do like talking about? Best skateboard ever all time? Mark Johnson, nose blunt and nose blunt, fully flared. Two for two, baby! Ooh!